Hey y'all, Toad here, and I'm just uh, sitting here thinking about Lorraine Bayless. Yeah, I don't know if y'all heard about it. That's the name of the 87-year-old uh, lady who collapsed at a, I guess you could call it a living facility for the elderly. And when uh, when she collapsed, 911 was called and. To make a long story short, the 911 operator was prepared to talk whomever was on the phone through CPR protocol to attempt to save Miss Bayless's life. Well, the lady at the other end, who in the call, her first name was Colleen, uh, she identified herself as a nurse and pretty much told the 911 operator that uh, the company policy is that there's no medical care provided to the patients who live there or to the residents who live there. And over the course of the call, the it got to the point where the 911 operator was almost pleading, even going as far as to ask Colleen to give the phone to somebody who was not um, subject to the company policy, so you know the 911 the 911 operator could talk that person through the procedure for CPR, and uh, the CPR excuse me the the 911 operator was uh, was rebuffed. Now it's this this is the kind of thing that would just make a sane person cry. Now, why did Miss Bayless die? Was it because of a heartless employee who wouldn't perform CPR? No. Was it because of an inept 9-11 operator? No. So whose fault was it? Well, damn it, it was ours. That's right. Every American citizen had a hand in preventing Miss Bayless from getting the best chance she could possibly have. She was in a place, living in a place, where you had self-described nurses. She had the services of 911, which of course we all pay for, and the 911 operator was on the ball, had the protocol, and was ready to you know, to transfer that protocol, to give that information step by step to anybody who was uh, who was there to help this woman. Now, why are we at fault? Well, because the reason this woman died is because people were afraid to help her. People were afraid that if something had gone wrong in that treatment, that they would be liable. And the only reason that happens is because we as citizens have allowed our tort laws to get so out of hand that people are afraid to do anything, that pretty much everything that goes on is now looked at through a new filter, a filter of what can I be sued for. And just as a side note, I was having a, a, a conversation with a good friend of mine uh, just a couple days ago, talented man, responsible man, I've broken bread with this man, I know him to be a, to be a fine and respectable individual. And he's trying to start a small home-based company making steel targets. The only reason he's not following through at, with it at this point is because he understands that in an America where McDonald's gets sued because somebody spills coffee on their crotch, he lives in an America where making steel targets for firearms could get him sued. It's it's real possible that somebody, some dumbass, 
could shoot at that target from a stupid distance with the wrong kind of uh, firearm with anything, get injured by bounce back, drop it on their toe, hey, drop it in their crotch on the way home for all I know, and this friend of mine could get sued. Now, on the face of it, you know, it may sound silly, but we've all heard of, of settlements. I mean, the nuisance settlements, which in and of themselves are, are horrid, that occur. Now, this lady, getting back to the to the, the death of the elderly lady, she was in her in her 80s. Um, the woman on the phone, according to the corporation that owns the uh, the retirement center was hired as a resident services director, not as a nurse. Now, whether she's actually a registered nurse, LPN, whatever her actual, uh, her degree or her level her level of certified uh, teaching is, is irrelevant. Because this corporation knows that it can get sued. That varies from state to state, but it's still very, very much in effect you know so next time you're thinking about an insurance payday for you know a whiplash of a car wreck or some other excuse me some other useless bullshit think about 87 year old Lorraine who laid there on the floor perhaps even aware that while she lay dying people were debating the legal ramifications of helping her instead of helping her.